And I'm reading in here from chapter 3. Where, so here's what Madame Guillaume says. She says, Qu'il commence par un acte profond d'adoration et d'anéantissement devant Dieu. That they begin with a profound act of adoration and self, um, a humbling of self, um, a forget, forgetting of self, uh, putting the ego aside. That's it. A, 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 sit, sitting quietly and getting your ego out of the way. Okay. Et là, and there, tâchant fermer les yeux du cœur. Close your eyes. Qu'il ouvre ceux de l'âme et qu'il la ramasse au dedans. So you close your external eyes and it opens the eyes of the soul. And then you gather yourself or recollect yourself within. Okay. So basically what she's saying, to practice this method of prayer, you, you become still. Close your eyes. And she says that closing your earthly eyes opens your, your, um, the eyes of the soul. Which is actually true. The way I teach this, it's the same as hers really. Just a little different technique, uh, just a slightly different trivial uh, parts of it, but, no, but nothing vastly different. But what I say, I think is very helpful. I say to sit and close your eyes and look at the inside of your eyelids. When you look at the inside of your eyelids, it's like looking at a big screen TV with no picture on it. Okay, so it's a big screen TV. There's no picture, but there's some kind of white noise there or some kind of little patterns of light, little pixels of light, little little movements of, of light, or a warm glow. Okay, something like that on the big screen TV. When you close your eyes, you look at the inside of your eyelids and you see the big screen TV and look at those little patterns of light, little pixels of light. See? So your the eyes of your soul are actually observing spiritual light. Okay? So that's one good thing. The other good thing is that you're still, and the other good thing is that you're not lost in the imagination. See, when we've been totally corrupted by the outside, loving people and hating them, and emotions and excitement and study and words and pressures and teases and challenges, it gets inside. When it gets inside, then your mind goes round and round and round. See. You sit quietly, look at the inside of your eyelids. Now you're not lost in your thoughts. See? And while you're doing that, you can also become aware of your hand, like your right hand in your lap or by your side, or your hands if you'd like to become aware of both hands. See, it's very similar. See how you're recollecting yourself? You're keeping your powers within. You're closing your external eyes and opening up the eyes of your soul, like Madame Villon said. But I add a little something extra. I add looking at the inside of your eyelids at the big screen TV and seeing the little pixels of light, patterns of light. And also, I say to be aware of your hands. So you do both at the same time as you're looking at the little pixels of light on the inside of your eyelids. You're also aware of your hands until they become a little bit tingly. When you become aware of your hand, or your hand, let's say your hand, it becomes a little bit tingly. And you can assist yourself in being aware of your hand by noticing one finger at a time. Notice your thumb. Feel your thumb. Feel the blood flowing into your thumb. It becomes a little bit tingly. And notice your first finger. Pay attention to your first finger. Just notice your first finger. No effort is required. Just gently notice your first finger. Feels a little tingly. 
You feel the blood flowing into it. And notice your second finger becomes a little tingly. Feel the blood flowing into your fingers. Now notice your third finger. Just be aware of your third finger. Be aware of it by your side. Okay, as you're looking at the inside of your eyelids. Okay, and then your fourth finger. Now notice your fourth finger becomes a little bit tingly as you notice it. You can feel the blood flowing into your hand. It may become a little bit warm as you notice it. That's the meditation exercise right there. See how simple? You could also call it a short and easy method of prayer. Prayer is, prayer is um, a rapport with the Heavenly Father. It's like a little child comes to the good earthly father. And a lot of times the good earthly father can tell what's happening with the little child. Can't, can't he? He can see a little, a little uh, smile or an excitement or a little tear in the eye. He sees the expression on the child's face and he knows what what's already going on before the child even has to ask or say anything. That's the way it is with your Heavenly Father. What Madame Guillaume very properly says, that, that He is your Father. Okay? My name is Rome.